In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the area of a square using C++, and we'll use a user input value for the square side length. So the first thing we'll do is create a variable to store the square side length. Now a square side length could be something like 4.5 with a decimal place. So we'll use the type double for our variable because double variables can store numbers with decimal places. So we'll have double and side to store the square side length. And for now, we'll initialize it to zero with equals zero. We'll also declare a variable to store the square area. So we'll have double area is equal to zero to store the calculated square area. The next thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the side length. So we'll have C out and then the stream insertion operator and then side length colon to prompt the user to enter in the square side length. Next, we'll store the side length that the user enters into the side variable using CN. So we'll have CN and then the stream extraction operator and then side. And this is going to store the side length that the user enters into the side variable. We can now calculate the square area. So the area of a square is side multiplied by side. And that's going to calculate the area of the square. So in this statement, star here is the multiplication operator. And we're going to multiply side by side. And then equals here is the assignment operator. It's going to take the result of this expression here and assign it to area. We can then output the calculated square area. So we could have C out and then square area colon followed by area. And we'll also output an end line with end L here. This end L will cause any further output from our program to appear on the next line. We can now save, compile and run our program. And for the square side length, we'll enter in 8.7654. And for the square area, we get 76.8322. And that is correct. Now, one thing we may want to do is limit the precision of our output. So for example, we may only want to output the square area with two decimal digits of accuracy. We can do that using what are called stream manipulators. So we'll include up here the IOMANIP library because this library includes stream manipulators that we can use to limit the precision of our output. And then down here, we'll first output square area. So we'll have C out and then square area. And then we'll have C out with fixed and set precision with two. And these are what are called stream manipulators. When used together like this, they'll cause the square area to output with two decimal digits of precision. We can now save, compile and run the program. And we'll enter in 8.7654 again for the side length. And we get a square area of 76.83, which is correct. Now, one more thing we may want to do is create a function to calculate the square area. So we can just call that function wherever we need to calculate the square area instead of reproducing the formula. So up here, we'll declare the function. The function is going to return a double, the square area. We'll call the function square area. And the function is going to accept a double as an argument. We'll call the parameter side. So we'll have double side. Then we'll provide a definition of this function down here. So we'll copy this and down here, we'll supply a definition and it's going to be pretty simple. All we're going to do is return the side length multiplied by the side length. Then up here, we can call the function. So here we'll call square area and we'll pass it the side length with side here. And if we save, compile and run the program, we can again enter in 8.7654 and we get 76.83 again, which is correct. So this is how we can calculate the area of a square with a user input value for the square side length in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.